What is up, YouTube? Man. Lately, I've been on a bit of a guitar pick journey. Um, you know, for the last two years, I've been playing uh, Dunlop Flow 1.5s. I hope you can see that. And I love these picks. I tried it. And I basically, you know, I really liked it. I like the grooves. And it just kind of stays in your hand. Because the most important thing to me is basically rhythm, right? If you're playing in a band, you know, you're soloing a small amount of the time. Most of the time you're playing rhythm. So, you know, a lot of picks, you start playing with them and they just slip out your hand. But um, a few days ago, I was playing. I was trying to play something kind of fast. And uh, I realized I was kind of struggling. So I picked up a different pick. And I realized I was able to play a lot faster. So I thought, huh, maybe I need to start, go back, you know, try to look in the picks. So I've been on a bit of a guitar pick journey. And... Um, yeah, I found these picks on Amazon. It's Musin Premium Handmade Clear Pick. It's M U S I I N. And of course, when you see something you've never seen before, you first thing you do is try to look at it on YouTube. I couldn't find any um reviews or anything. So I decided to try it and then I just got them today. Check it out. There's some beautiful picks. They're kind of expensive. It's 10 bucks for the two. But, um, yeah, they look good, so I decided to try it. And I thought I'd make a little video in case anybody else want to try it. Not necessarily like a, or maybe, I guess, a bit of a review. I'll let you know what I think about it. You can see them better. I'm not sure what the material is, but it looks good. Yeah, and guitar picks are kind of a, if you're a beginner or even an advanced player and you've never thought about trying different picks, it might be a good idea. Because sometimes, you know, you think something's working and then, but it could be holding you back. A guitar pick can actually hold you back from, you know, progress you could make a lot faster with a different pick, especially depending on your picking style. Now, when I get a pick, for me, what's important is um, rhythm. Right, because I see a lot of a lot of people, they get picks and they start playing all the lead. Now, I'm not I'm not trying to say you're going to be able to hear how the pick sounds, especially not on YouTube, but let me see. Take off the reverb and delay. that part because I guess because of the holes that are in there that pick's not going anywhere I mean I just hate you start playing and the pick starts sliding out of your hand especially if you're on stage at a gig and it's kind of dark before you know it your pick is gone and you're like yeah. so yeah it 
The grip is nice. Feels pretty nice. It's also nice when you're playing with a pick that it has kind of a similar tone to your um, fingers or nails or whatever. So that if you are playing like a, you know, some chords where you're using your fingers. That it's at least kind of a similar tone. and smooth if I do that I don't know if you can see that's the pick fingers pick fingers Sloppy. Not bad. Yeah, so I'm going to spend some time just, you know, playing with these picks and see what comes out of it. What I'm doing is basically buying a bunch of different picks and then spending, I don't know, a week or two, maybe even a month, just playing with one pick, see if it helps, if it can is what I'm looking for, like I said, something great for rhythm and stays out the way when I'm playing lead or doesn't get in the way when I'm playing lead or trying to play a fast passage. So, um, yeah, check it out. Mucin, whatever it is, guitar pick on Amazon. It's like nine ninety nine for two of them. But I would say it's a heavy. I have a Fender Heavy. This is one of the ones I'm trying, Fender Heavy. And uh, yeah, they're very similar. They're very similar in, ter in terms of um, um, the thickness. Very similar. Let me see. This is a very similar sound too with the drop test. Um, now I know there's a lot of expensive picks out there like the, um, what's the main one? Oh gosh, I can't remember the name. It's like 40 bucks a pick. Now I'm not trying to say I would never spend $40 on a pick, especially if I think it's gonna help my playing. You know, tone in my playing. I mean, you buy a guitar for like, what, thousand bucks? And you got an amp for close to another thousand. And you got five, six hundred in pedals. So if a pick is going to help you get closer to what you're trying to do in terms of sound, it only makes sense, right? It's not 
oh man, I would never. Mm. But, but I would have to try one though. That's the thing. I've never even met anybody who's owned one and said, hey, try it out. So I don't know. But right now, this is the one I'm going to be trying. And maybe I'll do some more videos of the different picks I try and um, let you know which pick that I end up going with because I'm looking for that pick that that's going to be my stage pick. I mean, when I'm in the studio, I can use whatever. But on stage, you know, it's going to be the pick that I, my go-to pick. So, um, yeah. See you next time.